Well, I'm hoping the tenth time I'm trying to film this will be the charm. Okay, this is my completed baby book. This is the side view. This is the spine. This this element was in the center of the book, but it was far too thick to be in there. There's the back of the book. Here's where the baby's name is. Um, these are protective page covers because I don't want the pages to fray as they're being used. My favorite color is blue, so the butterfly has a little blue um, gem for his face or eye or whatever. And then the baby's grandmother is going to do uh, a bow here because I'm not a good bow maker. So that's the, the front of it. The second page of it, these are like little chest of drawers. And so I've got all kinds of little envelopes and tags and pockets. This page, this goes, let me show it to you first, the front and the back. These go in the center here to be pulled out. And there's one on each of the four interior pages. This kind of turned out to be, look like a little flower pot to me. So some more tags. I put this little ceramic butterfly and three little gems. I put some extra gems in the centers of these flowers. And this is a very strong pocket uh, page. And I haven't seen one quite like that. Um, so here's a little book that I made to put in there. You can see how thick this book is. And that goes in there easily. Um, that took me about two minutes to make. I was really pleased. Another one of the chest of drawer looking things. Another pull out tab up here. Same thing here. A little, a different element for this little flower pot. Um, a clock face. This looks like a, a Fabergé egg to me. Um, you know, where she could put one big picture, little pictures, whatever. A different sort, but it's the same kind of thick uh, pocket page with, you know, tags and things like that. Another one of the Chester, Chester door looking pages, envelopes, Fabergé egg, and this last page, this was meant for a smaller photo. She put, I was gonna put uh, sparkles around there too, but I thought, well, she, she may wanna put other pictures. And like I said, she'll have extra room, you know, on the interior here. And she knows who made it, so if she wants something else added, I can certainly do that too. So, I might have had more to say, but I've said it about 10 times now, so I don't have much more left in me. So, there's that book. I know I said that I was going to show it more in stages, but when I just got to it, I just got to it, and I just got excited and wanted to keep doing it. And it took me a total of, I think, about 22 hours and probably $75 in supplies. This is the next book that I'm working on. It's going to be a Winnie the Pooh book. And I'll just show you the very beginnings of this. These are actually, um, these green pages are actually five by seven cards. And I use the Anna Griffin uh, die set. A lot of companies have them though, to do the spine with. You need to know how to, to fold it and glue it together for the spine. And then you attach the pages. And that's the beginning of the book. And this particular spine, set came with this embossing folder and that's what each of these pages are embossed 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 with it and um, you just put the the card blank in there and run it through the die cut machine like that so if you have any questions or you want to know about how to do anything in particular let me know and I'll do my best be good to each other be safe and careful bye